Good morning, everybody. This is Remedy Israel again, bringing you more information. Um, this is a continuation um, for the psychedelic uh, dis distribution of information. Um, well, really, it's a, it's a continuation. What I meant to say is a, conti a continuation of the book, Realm of the Human Unconscious, from Stanislav Grof, a European um, psychedelic scientist, psychedelic expert. Um, so this... I, in the previous videos, I was going over the the various different stages in the psychedelic experience, or at least the psychedelic um, stages and stratum that um, Stanislav Grof outlines and basically uh, basically speaks speaks on in his book Realm of the of the Human Unconscious. So this is about the perinatal experience. Now, peri to give you the etymology of peri for perinatal. You know, you know, natal basically means infants, so peri means around. So perinatal experience basically has to do with um, the experience or the time and memory um, of when you were a baby. The things, cause, you know, relating to your mom, you when you were a baby, what you were experiencing then inside the belly, the feelings, emotions, maybe. I think it gets that deep. But um, this is the perinatal experience, meaning around birth experience so um the basic characteristics of the perinatal experience and their central focus are the problems of biological birth physical pain agony aging disease decrepitude dying and death furthermore groff writes there are two consequences of this experience one being the con one is the connection of birth and death being the major philosophical issue accompanying the perinatal experience and two that encountering the phenomenon of death is the opening up of spiritual and religious experiences of the second one he says it is an intrinsic part of the personality and is beyond an individual's cultural and religious background Conceptually, Groff explores the perinatal matrices, which he corresponds to certain archetypal mother motifs, which relate to various stages in the birthing process. So that was um, perinatal experiences, uh, Stanislav Groff's breakdown on the perinatal experiences, the various different stages that you go through if you uh, have ever ingested a psychedelic, a entheogen, um, whatever you want to, whatever you feel comfortable with uh, calling them. And that's how you know that the psychedelics are so, so magnanimous. They're so big and titanic in our world that they have to just keep changing their names. First, they were consciousness expanders. Then they were called hallucinogens. Then they were called psychedelics. And they were called, and people branch off different ramifications and say, oh, they're entheogens. They're this, they're that. They're, you know, it's, it's just so much. But the perinatal experience basically has to do with well, <laughs> I already said it, but um, the etymology is around birth. So that's what you uh, think about. Well, that's, well, that's what the, um, the perinatal experience is about, basically, as, as Stanislav Grof have, has it written down. And in the past, when I have tripped, I have realized that when I did ingest those substances that I was thinking, I always thought about myself as a little boy, a little baby, a little... And it's crazy. And then in, in other trips, I've thought about other people as being babies, whether if they told me about their, their experience as a baby or not. It's like uh, like my counselor when I was in a rehab, when I was in rehab and I was tripping on LSD because I knew that they couldn't find it in my system. He told me at one meeting that um, his mom never um, ever since he was, you know, and brought into this world, him and his mom basically never had a good relationship. He doesn't know when he was what was going on he was nine months obviously but um or as a newborn baby but when he told me that maybe a, a few weeks went by and i tripped and then um i seen him as a baby inside the crib um and he was just crying and crying and his mom was just sitting there with her arms folded just watching tv or whatever she was doing and i'm sitting there like oh and that, that happened in like a nanosecond like a second split in half of me look of, of me coming down the stairs and looking up and him being the first thing that I seen 
and I looked into his eyes and that's the first thing that I seen. And there's some other experiences, but this is basically just dealing with me telling you about the perinatal experiences and, and how significant psychedelics are because they keep changing the name. As soon as they think they have it outlined and which everything in life basically is, that's what new speech is. As, as you go on and you familiarize yourself and confabulate yourself around certain things and situations and settings, you become more familiar with it. But, um, but yeah, as we become more familiar with psychedelics, we keep changing the name. Let's call it uh, consciousness, expand, consciousness expanders. Let's call it hallucinogens. Let's call it psychedelics. Let's call it this. Let's call it... People don't feel no connection with the whole religious thing, so they're not going to want to call it entheogen. Because uh, entheogen means generating the God within you. You break all the down to the Greek and everything. People are like, eh, nah, I, don't, I don't have no thoughts major thoughts on God and I don't I don't I don't I didn't even deal with the whole God thing. That's what some people say or whatever. So they wouldn't call it so they would feel comfortable calling them psychedelics. And psychedelics, the etymology of psychedelics meaning mind mind or soul manifesting. And I come I feel comfortable saying that because it does give you a penetration into the psyche and has that psycholytic um um characteristics to basically dissolve and if you look at yourself like a stiff brick or whatever, when you take the psychedelics, you dissolve and you be more, you know, more relaxed, more comfortable, more free feeling and everything like that. So this was a continuation of uh, Realm, Realm of the Human Unconscious by Stanislav Grof. And I was just talking to you today about the perinatal experience, because if you go into this, 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 if you have um depression major trauma or whatever and you went into it and you never did any research on it or whatever you may not have anything to it's like when you trip it's like if you know information you make a world to exist in for your trip if you know it does all this beautiful stuff if it does all this important stuff and dealing with psychology and how the mind thinks and everything and how to go back to old traumatic experiences and dissolve them and have them Feel, have have you feeling more comfortable and that acceptance that you needed to do when you were previously going through that situation you never had that acceptance but for some reason when you take the psychedelics they are very 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 beneficial and very significant to the psychological realm in this world so um it's remedy it's me remedy israel bringing you more information and stay tuned in and I will have more information for psychedelics and about various other things. I'm going to, my next few videos will, will be on philosophy and psychology. I'll be breaking down mental health, mental hygiene, uh, maybe talking about Clifford W. Beers and everything like that. So thank you very much for tuning in. Have a beautiful day. It's very, very beautiful outside today. Go out, enjoy. Don't have that nature deficit disorder and just stay stuck, stuck in the house or whatever. Have, reconnect yourself back to nature over and out.